We're looking at uh, microgreens here that I grew in a flat, and they're basically kind of a little older than a sprout, but a little younger than a baby green. So they're very nutritious um, and very easy to grow on a windowsill or a sunny place or under grow lights in, in your house or apartment. And growing them is pretty easy. In fact, you can mix and match. This is actually a mix of different plants. I think this has uh, mizuna, kale, cabbage in it. And then this is just a solid species called um, uh, cress. And this one actually matured a little bit faster. So maturity dates you might need to be concerned of because some things take longer to grow. Um, some things are slower. So um, if you have different maturity dates, you know, this, this takes about uh, uh, 14 days and these take about 10 days. So these kind of came in a little bit earlier than these. So that is something to consider. But um, yeah, you can mix things or mix the seeds together to get different flavors. Sean says they're ready to harvest when the leaves begin to appear. But what you're looking for is you're looking for when the, the first true leaves um, come out. So the leaves kind of have a different look to them. Um, these right here are the, called the cotyledons or the seed leaves. And the leaves that have a, a slightly different um, margin uh, on the edge of the leaf, those are called the true leaves. They have a different look than the cotyledons. So when the true leaves start emerging, um, that's typically when you'd start harvesting them, but you could really harvest them at any stage. Just not, you don't have to be that particular. But um, on a small scale in your kitchen, um, all you need is just a pair of scissors and you can just hold it up. Like that. And if you want to mix, we'll mix these in there too. These are a little bit spicier and they make a great addition to a sandwich or a garnish. As far as eating them, anything goes. You can eat them raw, you could um, cook them. I, I had a lot of customers when I was farming that like to mix them with scrambled eggs. Um, a lot of chefs will use them as a garnish. I'll, I personally like to just make a giant salad of all microgreens. You could probably get, you know, five or six salads out of this. Um, if you just have a whole bowl of microgreens and then you don't have to worry about purchasing any other salad greens, you can just have a salad of highly nutritious microgreens. And that was Sean Yanacek from Virginia Tech's Cooperative Extension. Microgreens are best used right after harvesting. They can be rinsed and dried, you know, something like a salad spinner, and then they can be stored up to a couple of weeks. Now, next week, we're going to learn how to plant these little microgreens, and you can learn more about them and a whole lot of events going up, uh, coming up by visiting the Virginia Cooperative Extension website. That's uh, ext.vt.edu. And you can find out all about the dirt right here. WFXR News at noon on every Thursday.